brave as can be, a book of courage. When I was little, I was afraid of everything. Little creaks and squeaks and booming thunderclaps. Teeny creepy crawlies and monstrous pointy fangs. I had a pile of fears as big as a mountain. When I was scared, I would shiver as if I was outside in the snow. I would shut my eyes tight and clap my hands over my ears. I was closed up against the cold, as if I was in an igloo. I used to be scared of the dark. Was there a monster lurking in the shadows? But now I have a bright nightlight and my super-powered pajamas, which are 100% danger-proof. The neighbor's dog can be scary, too with his loud barks and thousands of teeth. But my mom says the dog is just saying hello, holding her hand tightly. I say hello right back. Once I let go of my mom's hand and poof, she disappeared, but I didn't panic. Sometimes moms get lost. Like a brave explorer, I spotted her through the crowd. I'm in a galaxy far, far away and heading straight toward a fuzzy yarn monster. Quick, wake up. It was just a nightmare. My dreams scare me too sometimes. Trick or treat. On Halloween, it's my turn to be scary. With a cackling laugh and a pointy hat. I scare my friends and my friends scare me. Sometimes it's fun to be scared. I love when Dad tells me my favorite spooky stories over and over again. Once upon a time. When thunder booms and lightning flashes, I used to clench my teeth and my blankie. Now I tell my little sister it's just a storm. Let's sing a song to give ourselves courage. My teacher can be very strict. When she is angry, her big black eyes make her look like an owl. But that's my own special secret. Imagining her feathers makes me feel brave. Beetles and butterflies, lizards and ladybugs, they slither and crawl and creep. But to them I am a giant. If I am scared of them, Think how scared they must be of me. I'm older now and my mountain of fears doesn't look so huge. In fact, now that I am big, it looks very small indeed. <laughs>